Yo! Video games. Fight for the neighbors. Simmons, if you were given the power to make a Zelda game, how would you design and make it? From Girl Draco. Hmm. Very well and very carefully. Yes. <laughs> Good answer. Good answer. Where that's from? Good answer. That's from Back to School. Hell yeah. Rodney Dangerfield. Yep. Good answer. Good answer. Whatever happened to that actor? Fuck, he was funny. He's dead? He died? <laughs> yeah, he's dead! Like, how long ago, though? Not that long ago, but I think it was like a couple years ago. Damn it. Max refuses to stream Skies of Arcadia? Who said that? Miles. Kinda. He wants to know if you want to stream it. Yeah, I wouldn't mind streaming it. There's a chest in here. I don't know how we'd hook up. I guess we'd have to get an emulator for it. I have it on Cube. Yeah, I have it on Cube also, but I don't know how I would hook up the Cube to... Oh, Can you do HDMI on Cube? God, are you kidding me? I actually didn't even the Titans, man. That's what I get for not playing this game in a long ass time. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I can't fucking do this. I need to go get the powder from the bitch. Ah! Get the powder from ah! the bitch. This is the shit that drove me nuts in fucking Majora's Mask. Though. Like, oh, I need this. To do this, I need that. But to do that, I need the other thing. To get the other thing, I need to do the one thing. <laughs> to do the one thing. I'm... Did you ever hear my, my fucking rant about on fucking Majora's Mask? No. Let's see if I can remember the whole thing. Okay. Here's a, a condensed version of why I'm not like sucking fucking Majora's fucking creepy weird monster cock like everyone in the world. So Majora's let's say. Mask is one of the least popular Zelda games ever made. Oh, if you know. If you mean most, yes. Um. So let's say like you beat the the stone snow peak or whatever temple, right? You beat the second temple, you go back, you start the days over. So you're in Clock Town, just like how it all goes, you know, start of everything, right? Whatever. Okay, so they tell you, okay, to get the next, to get the next uh, giant or whatever, piece of the giant song or whatever, to awaken the next giant, oh, I forget what it's exactly the exact thing is. You gotta go to the. They gotta go to the ocean temple. To get to the ocean temple, you need to hop over this wall. To hop over this wall, you need your opponent. To get opponent, you have to go to the ranch. But to get to the ranch, you have to get a giant bomb to blow up the boulder blocking the way to the ranch. To get the giant bomb to blocking the way to the boulder of the ranch, you need to get a, a bomb, a, a big bomb license. To get a big bomb license, you gotta carry a barrel haphazardly through the snow from one end of it to the other. Then once you get the big bomb license, then you gotta go buy a big bomb, and then you put the big bomb, blow up the big boulder, get to the ranch. But to get your horse, you have to play an opponent's song. To, then once you play an opponent's to play upon a song and get your horse, you have to agree to hunt down the ghost with the girl yeah. at the ranch. And you agree to do that, but you can kind of ignore her. So once you get your horse, you can run away. So you run away from the ranch, you got your horse, you hop over the wall, you get to the ocean. So you gotta get to the ocean temple. You don't know how. Well, you find a fucking Zora washed up on the beach. Or, or to get into to get into the area to get to the ocean temple, you need to become a Zora. Become a Zora, you gotta go in the ocean to find Dying Zora. You take Zora, take Dying Zora back to land. The Dying Zora, you know, tells you his name. His uh, sad story he gives you a song and tells you to get the get the eggs. I f fuck you. What do you mean come back for something good, bitch? You fucking witch ass tit for fuck. Thank you, thank you. Um, so you learn the Zora song, but. You learn a Zora song, turn to Zora, but you can't get to the water temple because Lulu won't fucking sing her song. To get Lulu to sing her song, you gotta get all the Zora eggs back. To get all the Zora eggs back, you gotta go find how the Gerudos who stole them and then also have to get to some point in the ocean. So you sneak into the Gerudos fortress. Then you gotta find all the Gerudo eggs hidden in the Gerudos fortress. Gerudos, but they carry each egg back. You have to have a singular bottle for each egg. Otherwise, you will have to go in and out, in and out. You've gotta take each egg in an empty bottle to the, the lake or the ocean laboratory, put them in the aquarium. You gotta do that for every single egg. Every single egg has to have it in each individual bottle. So you do all that. 
You get a bunch, you go to get a half of the eggs are in the Gerudo's Fortress. You get them there and you put it out. But then the other half of the eggs are in the deep, this deep sea hole. To get to the deep sea hole, you need to get a golden seahorse. To get a golden seahorse, you have to talk to the fisherman, and the fisherman wants a picture of Gerudo. To take a picture of the Gerudo, you have to get the camera. If you don't have the camera, you gotta go to the swamp, you gotta do like the river cruise, jungle cruise thing to get a camera. Again, then you get the camera, you go back to Gerudo's Fortress, take a picture of Gerudo without getting caught, you give it to the fisherman. The fisherman gives you a golden seahorse. Golden seahorse, they have to have an empty bottle. You take it out to the ocean, you follow the golden seahorse the murky water goes to the bottom thing. You go to the bottom thing, you get to fight a bunch of fucking eels. Then you get all the rest of the Zora eggs. Take the rest of the Zora eggs back to the aquarium, you put the Zora eggs in the aquarium. But then they tell you, oh, but you have to fucking wait a full day for the eggs all to hatch. So you have to make sure you've done all this within a day or two, otherwise you won't be able to complete this quest because you run out of time because it's a three-day cycle. So let's say you did all this magically within two days. So you wait a day, the eggs come out, and they make a little fucking song, and you learn the fucking song, and you take the fucking song, you play the song for fucking Lulu, Lulu then sings, and then the turtle comes out of the water, and then you can finally go to the dungeon for the fun fucking part of the game. That's why I'm not a huge fan of fucking Majora's Mask. <laughs> you had a good build there. You had a good, like, crescendo. You know? But also, it is not, it's not a super popular Zelda game. It's the most popular Zelda game amongst the fan base. Majora's Mask. Yes, absolutely is. Ocarina of Time is the most popular. Right? Ocarina of Time is the most popular amongst the wide casual audience, but among Zelda fans is definitely Majora's Mask. I've never heard that. Now I do Skyward Sword. Fuck <laughs> Skyward Sword. Simmons, I'm not a stenographer. Slow down. <laughs> he was writing it down. Wow, that's a fetch quest. My favorite Zelda's are Twilight and Link Between Worlds. Grinds my gears, Legend of Zelda edition. You should just do like five minute videos of Grinds Your Gears. <laughs> like I know you got Matt rants, but you should just make little short three minute what was that? That was like a five minute rant? Yeah. If you could do it all in one sitting exactly like that and then just like boom cut, <laughs> that'd be hilarious. Now that's just one part of the game of getting into one of the, the four, four dungeons. It's even fucking worse when you have to get into Icona Tower. <laughs> or Stone Tower Temple. I swear to God, this Explain why Skyward Sword is bad. Uh, Zelda Oracle of Seasons. Because the thing is, all that fetch questing and shit, like, most of it isn't fucking, like, solving puzzles or doing anything remotely fun. It's only kind of fun to sneak once you get into the Gerudo's Fortress and you get to sneak around there, solve some puzzles, do some shit, you know, like, be stealthy and all that crap. Um, Whoa. Did you just say be stealthy and fun in the same... Yeah, cool, because, I mean, like, you can just shoot them and they fall down. It's not like you have to sit there and be like this little fucking butt walk roadie run and then... <clears throat> now let me sit there and wait. I'll wait behind this wall. Oh, like, this guy turned around. But I'm an aggressive <laughs> stealth I'm an aggressive stealth man. I feel like there's very little weight in when I do it. <laughs> of course, I end up in fist fights when they have guns. I was Batman last night. I didn't think about that. <laughs> they all had guns, and I just beat the fucking Two shit words. out. Bomb bowling. Bomb bowling. Bomb bowling. Oh, what am I doing? I need to actually go here. This is the whole fucking reason I'm doing all this horseshit. Fuck. Skyward Sword at Bomb Bowling. Triforce Gear Solid. Metal Gear Zelda. Skyward Sword sucks. 
That's not how you play Troy Baker's punch out. <laughs> Troy Baker's punch out. <laughs> That's fantastic. Blast you for waking me from my deep dark sleep. I mean, thanks a lot, sir. But now you will get my revenge on you. Get ready for it. Or is that okay with you? Is that her? I laugh at your misfortune. Now your magic power will drop by one half. Congratulations. Now do your best, even though I'm sure it won't be enough. Have a nice day. See you. Don't be that way, bitch. Let me introduce you. <laughs> My three friends. <laughs> Uh, and the juice crew. And the juice crew. <laughs> oh, Danny sex banging his voice. His pipes. His golden pipes. Ganondorf versus fierce deity who would win? Ganondorf? Well, that's kind of a dumb question because Link always wins. No. Yeah, there's... There's... I mean, I found it. I, I found the actual saved... Articles. It's rough draft form, so it needs a little bit of touching up. Um, can't find the actual original article any longer. Um, but I had a huge article explaining in great Plinket-like detail why the just just the story for Skyward Sword is a piece of shit. Which is funny because that's what everyone fucking like heart loves on it. And I mean, I even I even had a. a, a a very polite gentleman's debate with Kyle Bossman about this at dinner one time. You know, about Skyward Sword. Because he loves Skyward Sword and he loves its story, but... Um, my god, yeah. I mean, I, like the article itself is not polite or gentlemanly at all. Fuck you. It's not polite or gentlemanly at all. Fuck you. <laughs> no, I was talking to the thing. That is the that's the fire rod. I need that. I need that fire rod. Do you think they'll add a female version of the new of Link to the New Zelda game as an optional gender to choose? I don't know. If this was a if if Zelda was a Western developed series, they would. But oh. because the thing is, is like it doesn't matter. Like, like for real, no joke. It does not fucking matter if Link's a boy or girl. I have never, never once read a compelling argument by anybody as to why Link has to be a boy. It's there's it's tradition, and it's like so fucking what? Well, I mean, you nail it on the head. It's tradition, and it's a Japanese company. Yeah. That's culture steeped in tradition. Yeah, well, I mean, like I said, if it was a Western developer, they'd probably just be like, yeah, sure, whatever. This guy doesn't fucking talk. <laughs> yeah. Need the big key. Put the cherry in front of the horse here. It'd be nice if that was the big key, but it's the map. There's a glitch in this game, on this dungeon in particular, which makes no death runs impossible, like as far as the game counter is concerned. Because every time you fall into this dungeon and exit it, it counts as a death. Oh, really? So when you beat the game, you'll notice on this dungeon, you've got like this huge death tally, and it's just because you went in and out of the dungeon. Oh, that's lame. Yeah, it's a funny little glitch bug. What was my answer to Monster Hunter? Uh... I don't know, I didn't, uh... I've never really been interested in Monster Hunter. Um, like, it's not that I have anything against it, I just I've never gotten amped for it. I'll have to it's a, a fun game, it. but it definitely has some fucking annoying Japanese quirks of, like, being, like, super grindy and having, like, like just shit that's, like, cumbersome as fuck. Yeah, grinding is one of my least favorite things to do. I wouldn't like Monster Hunter much, though. Really? Mm. You might like some aspects of it, because you, you like Ark, and you like, you know, things of that nature. Um, nope. What the fuck is that? Is that just a wall hand? Man? It's a wall master.
got me. I was under the impression that Link was genderless or androgynous at best. Like, either a really femme male or masculine female. Well, he's pretty pretty, let's put it that way. Um, again, it, it's just, it's one of those things like, it really just doesn't fucking matter. It doesn't fucking matter if Link was only a girl. Um, this wouldn't, again, this wouldn't even be a fucking issue. Like, a Western, if Western developers were making Zelda, they just, they would literally just make, they would add the option in. They'd just be like, yeah, sure, whatever. They would also give Zelda a voice. Or a Link, rather, a voice. Well, I'm sure they'd add voice acting. I'm sure, like, the only reason it doesn't have voice acting is because Nintendo's a fucking holdout on that. To me, it's dumb. It's like, look, just have the option at the beginning of the game. Say, do you want voices on? Yes or no. That's all you gotta fucking do. It's like, problem fucking solved. Because the thing is, they, they, they animate the game's cutscenes and shit now, anyways, with them, like, their mouths moving and stuff. And they have, like, non-interactive cutscenes now in Zelda. So it's like, they already, like, they've gone every step of the way that you would that you would need. Except giving except voice Except actually acting. doing voice acting. So it's like, yeah, oh my god, just shit or get off the pot at this point is a little bit how I'm like, I feel about it. I took away. Gibdo! You fucko! Get that fucking fire on. Oh! phone and I could even pay a lot of convenience store with them. This was before the West got a boner over NFC payments. I even paid my public transit trips with my phone, but to pay a power bill my signature on different pages plus Hank of stamp on two of the pages. Huh. Got an autographed poster of Secret of Nim. That's kind of awesome. From who? I don't know. Didn't, didn't say. From Mr. Bluth. Mr. Bluth himself. Oh, Secret of Nim. I haven't seen that in a long time. Back when Western animation was hand drawn, had a movie. Ah, fuck! <laughs> 